Redditors who grew up with shady, criminal parents. What did your mom or dad teach you was okay to do that you later learned was illegal or seriously? Frowned upon? Serious. Submitted by Swimming Cry. My parents grew wheat. I helped out in the grow room from age four. We live in the UK so it's illegal here but it's always just been a part of everyday life and I've been around so much of it for so long that I forget it's even illegal. My family did a lot of petty, trashy crime, shoplifting, theft, domestic assault, drugs, etc. I thought it was normal for adults to just kinda go to jail every few years for a day or two until I was 10. Now, my stepdad is out of my life. My mom is too old, ill to do anything particularly bad. And my dad may have helped finance a district attorney's election which has saved him mountains in legal fees for himself and the hookers he frequents. My dad stole a few things in a sneaky way so my brother and I would have one each. In one instance for example, he bought a Game Boy game. He brought it back to the car, removed the cartridge, and took it back into the store saying the case was empty. He did the same thing with those Pikachu Tamagotchi things. I think his biggest deal was a PlayStation 2. He actually did purchase one. My mum went in and picked it up. But when leaving the store, the door person didn't tear the receipt. Sue, so, my dad took the receipt back in, picked up another PS2, stuck the receipt on it and walked out. The door person tore the receipt this time but obviously didn't pay attention to the time of sale. Dad also ran a huge business of installing chips in PlayStation so they could play copied games. He would rent games, burn a copy, then sell copies to other people. We had a whole library and catalog of copied games and Dad had quite a few customers. Looking back I see how dodgy it was and why he told me not to tell too many people about it. Shoplifting for the most part. I mean like she never made us do it. But she didn't hide what she was doing either. She's the reason model homes have cameras now lol. My dad was a mechanic. The ones that stick out was when he would charge for a new replacement part and then go to the local junkyard and get the part from there. If the customer asked up front he would be honest and offer the two options. Junkyard part equals cheap but likely reliable or new equals expensive and only parts warranty. If they didn't ask most of the time it was a junkyard part. Rarely got in trouble or called out since his prices were a fraction of regular shops. Oh, I guess the other main shady part was that he wasn't a legit certified mechanic in most business. Was cash under the table. His apprentice is now my mechanic and he learned from my dad's mistakes. He provides receipts, boxes, and shows me where he installed the new part and it's always shiny and new. Minus obvious grease handling, installation marks. My parents would often get me to answer the phone as a young kid. Like 4 to 5 and older. Anyways, they people on the phone always asked if Jones Mollusk was there. My parents would coach me, no Jones Mollusk lives here. You don't know who that is. Well as a kid I really didn't have a clue who Jones Mollusk was. Because dad was always just dad or went by his nickname. Didn't find out for years what my dad's real name was. I guess I helped my parents evade a few debt collectors and god knows what else. And hash x200b. Also. Me and my sister used to go play Barbies in Daddy's clubhouse. It was our favorite place. Dad built it himself in our backyard and they even had a big bar and a pool table and they brought a velvet couch for me and my sister to play on while Dad played pool and visited with all my uncles. Dad always called it his clubhouse too, so when people asked where my dad was I'd say Dad was probably in his clubhouse. To which my mom would always get so mad at me and I'd be so confused because that's what dad and everyone else called it but I wasn't supposed to talk about it apparently. Haha, <laughs> yeah, my dad was in a biker gang. 
My dad was a tow truck driver and he would always bring me little presents as a kid that he got out of people's tower cars. As far as I knew if someone knew their car was going to get towed they took everything they wanted out of it and the rest was fair game. So this question brings up a very specific memory. My dad never said explicitly that what he was doing was acceptable but he certainly didn't tell me that this was wrong. I'm between the ages of 5 to 7. Unsure about a specific timeline on this. And my mom is often working in the evenings while my dad is sporadically around. One night, while my mom is gone, dad gathers me to go for an adventure. Usually this means driving around the city and looking at stuff. Well, dad pulls up to a hospital and parks. He sits with me in the car and gives me a script saying that that we recently moved here. A lie. In that he had hurt his back while moving boxes. Mega lie. I play along because hey. It's my dad and sure. Whatever he says goes. Any other specifics from that night are hazy. I think he managed to talk his way into some sort of painkiller prescription. This was in the early oh so opiates weren't as visible as now. My dad has been in successful treatment since then but man that's a big memory that stands out for how screwed up my younger life was. It was normal for people in my family to be in and out of jail. It was normal for most of my family to have some sort of criminal record. We were always taught to not respect cops. For example, when my dad found weed in my 16 years old sister's car. Instead of reprimanding her for having it, he reprimanded her for how easy it would be for cops to find. We were always watching mob movies and my dad would just gush about how classy and cool they were. It's just little stuff like that mostly. Nothing like outrageous. A family friend was in the import-export business for gemstones. I didn't realize it could be illegal to transport gems across borders. We would have gem parties where a dining table that can sit 12 would be completely covered in bowls of gems and jewelry to buy. Same as Tupperware parties, but for gems. Some stones my parents got appraised shocked their jeweler. Super rare colors of different stones that they had never seen before. That friend has gone legit. Owns some mines in Africa now. I used to be told everything was okay as long as you don't get caught. They kind of said it like a throwaway phrase but I really took it to heart. It gave me a real lack of respect for any authority at all and made it seem more like a game than real life consequences. I would do illegal shit just to get the rush of wondering and whether or not I'd be caught. Once I was caught I would just shrug and act like their winning didn't bother me. Kinda like their punishment was just them gloating about me getting caught. Quite a few things. Backstory. My bio dad was convicted of murder. Got away with another murder through claiming self-defense. No clue if it was truly self-defense. And apparently had a third murder that he never got caught for. He would steal constantly from people to things inside stores. One of my earliest memories is wanting this super cute pink hat. I believe I was around eight. He put it on my head and told me to walk to the car. I remember asking about paying and he said, don't worry, just walk. So, little me walks to the outside doors with her heart pounding and then the alarm goes off. I freeze and run back to my dad that was still shopping. First lesson I can remember I learned. You just need to keep walking when those alarms go off. He died a few years back. My brothers and I are decent people. My brother is a great dad. Despite who he had as a dad. My dad's no serious criminal. But petty in every way. Including the crime he commits. I was basically taught to play dumb. Act like you belong. And you can do whatever you want. We snuck into VIP lounges other people's buffets and parties at restaurants and events. He once lied to a ticket taker at a movie theater and got mad when they couldn't find the tickets he ordered online. He had not ordered tickets but there was a huge line and he didn't want to wait. We got in for free and cut a huge line. 
Also cut lines at Disney World and other sorts of places. I have fond memories of hanging out in the shed with my parents. Me playing with my dolls and them harvesting their money trees. Weed strewn all over the floor. Hanging from the ceiling. The leaves made into a little bed for my Barbie to sleep in. Ah, my sister. She's 18 years older than me so my mom would occasionally leave me with her. Sometimes for the day. A couple times for five days. One, her boyfriend, pimp, coming over. And then strange guys coming and going. I was like, what are they doing in there? Quote dot. Two, driving to her drug dealer's RV in a trailer park. She left me and my niece outside while she fucked him for dope. Again, what are they doing in there? Quote, 3. Waking up to all kinds of weird people in the dining room doing drugs out in the open at 8 Amasir. 4. Driving severely impaired with two kids in the car. 5. She would sleep all day. My niece and I would wake up. She was 5. I was 12. And there would be almost no food in the house so I had to scrounge. I'm talking potted meat on moldy bread baked beans for breakfast. It was some of the most fucked up times. I fucking hate that woman to this day. Don't even bother giving me the oh she's an addict. Poor her. Be kinder to her. No. She also let both of her, her ex-husbands touch my niece. She was so negligent I'm shocked that that we didn't have worse shit happen. I never knew we weren't allowed to drink at the local fair. Mom used to bring beer in a cooler when we went. Until I was 21 and a cop stopped me when I was walking around with a beer. There were a lot of weird things I didn't think much of as a kid but realized were fucked up as an adult. Like how our family moved 13 times in 15 years. I just assumed people got new houses all the time. And how sometimes I would go to the freezer for some ice cream and find stacks of cash in the containers. Just weird shit like that. My mom and dad are trained artists and teachers and they would frequently counterfeit things like parking permits, coupons, doctor's notes, etc. It was wild. It's not fair for me to ask you a question without sharing something of my own. My mother was pretty shady. She was an opioid and benzo addict who took me doctor shopping from place to place looking for prescriptions. She faked seizures and had a rolling list of medical complaints. I don't know if she believed all of her illnesses were real. But she sure acted like she did around us and medical staff. She taught me that it was okay to manipulate doctors. But somehow I grew up to be exactly the opposite in that I feel embarrassed and guilty seeking medical care even for a legitimate complaint. Pretty much what's already been said. Have confidence. Commit to the con, and act like you belong. Scary how effective this is lol. I grew up in a relatively hostile environment. So many people come up so much worse. So I am not really complaining. In which my mom had a bunch of boyfriends. Most were cool. Some were garbage. Nice ladies came to talk to me at school sometimes. And after the first visit. My mom coached me pretty hard about what to say. She definitely taught me that beer was just soda that grown-ups drink that only tastes good when you're grown up. So, he drinks a lot of soda, came up a few times. Again, really not that bad. But come on, ma, the fuck. Blow into breathalyzers so they could drive. 